Hello again. The other day I bought this interesting looking glass. So this is a Jack Daniels water jigger glass. Looks a bit like a hourglass. Um, see from the picture you can see the idea. What you do is you fill the bottom of the glass with water and the top with Jack Daniels. Or any other whiskey I guess. So to dry this out I've got some Jack Daniels, some water, Highland Spring and I'm just going to use this jigger to pour the Jack Daniels. Uh, I don't have giant hands, it's just this is a half bottle of Jack Daniels. So what we're going to do is fill it up uh, just to the top of that neck with water. Whoop, poured a little too fast there. You can maybe see there's a little bit of mixing with the water, but not too bad really for a first attempt. So that's the, the idea of this glass, it makes it easy to do this kind of thing. So here we go. Jack Daniels and water. Cheers. That's good. You get um, a bit of Jack Daniels, but then the water chases it straight down before you've really had a chance to taste it. So, um, in a way, it's <laughs> it's bad if you like Jack Daniels because you're not going to taste it that much. Um, but the idea is you don't get this full-on uh, hit of alcohol when you're downing a shot. So here we go, can of regular Coke. Okay. So this time I'm going to pour it really slowly. Actually it's working well again and there is a big difference in the colour so you can really you can see what's going on here. So there we have it. Jack and Coke like you haven't seen it before. Here we go. Cheers. That was good, <laughs> and that's better than the water, I think. Um, I, yeah, you don't notice the Jack Daniels at all, and, and uh, I didn't notice it. It was just straight down, and then the, the, the Coke came right after it, and uh, I just felt like I, drank, I just drank some Coke, basically. I guess another one would be uh, to use it for Jaeger bombs. Red Bull in the bottom and your Jaeger on top. So um, yeah, that's another one to try. I might give that a go later. Anyway, let's uh, have a quick look at the other method for making a whiskey floater. So obviously once again, put some water in the glass. You don't wanna, you wanna fill it up a reasonable amount because you don't wanna be pouring the whiskey in too low into the glass. And then you're using the paper towel to act as a barrier Get the, the towel slightly wet at the bottom and then you're going to take the whiskey. Once again I'm pouring it into the jigger to make things slightly easier. Just let it seep through gradually. Let's see if this works. Well, kind of worked. So yeah, hopefully you can see the whiskey is sitting on top of the glass. I could have maybe put a bit more in, but it worked okay. Here's one last way of trying it, which is with a spoon. So you just want to rest the spoon just at the top of the water and slowly pour in the whiskey onto the spoon and just let it overflow.
nice and simple although not that easy but yeah you can see it does a good job but I have to say I do like this little Jack Daniels glass let's give it one more go come on why not part of the trick is just getting the timing right so you just fill to the top of that neck and then you can pour this in as long as it's not too fast you're okay there you go so thanks for watching this uh, Jack Daniels whiskey on water experiment I didn't know if it's going to work but it worked pretty well and uh, if you want to buy one of these glasses, you can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. Otherwise, just try it out with uh, a regular glass. Cheers.